I'm Hewan Hook, and this is The Real Review. The wine we're tasting today is Kiri Hill Piccoli Lotti Nero Davila, 2018, and the grapes come from McLaren Vale. The property, uh, the winery was only built in 1998 and it was established in the Clare Valley and it's just to the east of the township of Clare, so it's in the northern part of the district. Uh, they have vineyards there but they also buy grapes from other regions such as this one which comes from uh, McLaren Vale and they also produce wines from the Adelaide Hills. They recently got a new winemaker, her name is Susie Micken and she joined I think uh, just before the uh, this vintage. So. The December before last, she joined the company, um, but she's quite a distinguished winemaker with 32 vintages across Australia, Spain, China and the US. And um, she's worked for small, large and international, multinational wine companies. Piccoli Lotti is an interesting name. Uh, it obviously means small blotch or small, small lot or small batch. And this is very much uh, in that category. There's only a few hundred cases made of it. It is a Nero Davila from McLaren Vale. McLaren Vale being one of the, I guess, one of the leading regions in Australia for alternative varieties, especially the Italian varieties, partly because they're very well suited to the climate down there, but also because there are quite a lot of grape growers in McLaren Vale who have Italian uh, background. So uh, the grapes would have been picked in McLaren Vale and taken up to Clare to make into the wine. She has used a bit of carbonic maceration in this wine, which is probably not that common, but it's a way of softening the tannins. There is a town, in fact, in Italy called Avola, and it's in Sicily, and that's obviously where the variety got its name from, the black wine of Avola. And this is, there's a bit of a story behind that because the Italians are now using the European Union to try and force countries like Australia to stop using the name Nero d'Avola because they reckon it's a regional name or a geographic name. Um, one company at least uh, has started to drop the word Avila off its name and just call their wine Nero. So, you know, I think we're going to see a lot of the uh, wines of this variety being given brand names in the future. Well, the first thing you notice is the deep color, very deep and very bright, very youthful, lovely purple tinge to it. Um, let's have a sniff. The bouquet is lovely and clean and with a lot of character. It's got spicy aromas, a touch of pepper, five, five spice even, Chinese five spice with that little touch of, um, of um, star anise character in it. Uh, really nice. But there are dark fruits there as well. There's black cherries. It's lovely, lovely nose indeed. Let's try the palate. Hmm. That's a serious wine. That's a very, very intense, full-bodied, I mean, remarkably deep flavor in that wine. It really is lingering a long time on the aftertaste. There is good firmness in the tannins without being astringent. Yeah, it really does have a backbone to it. That's an excellent wine. There is quite a lot of oak in this wine. It's a touch of oak on the nose. And I would say that will be better in another year or two. It's probably only just entering its drinking window right now. How do we rate this wine? We scored it 91, which is, um, I think, uh, with a bit of age, that wine is going to be worth a bit more than 91. It was rated number three out of 16 Nero Davilas from South Australia in the 2018 vintage. It's a $27 wine, which is good value. And we've said drink it now until 10 years hence. Um, I have very little doubt that it will last a lot longer than 10 years, but I think probably now to 10 years is the best drinking window. So, what kind of food would you serve with a wine like this? It's a full-bodied wine, needs some pretty hearty food. We asked the winemaker what they would uh, suggest, and they suggested here that it'd be really good to have slow-cooked beef brisket with this. 
uh, because the boldness of the Nero needs to have a rich, hearty, meaty dish or cheese. Something with a lot of intensity and a lot of protein, which would harmonise really well with those tannins. So, enjoy that.